Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. We are back in my room, sweating like a hog. Nice and warm in here today. We're doing Halo Top Birthday Cake. Ah, ah. Wish I had that crowd noise. Ah. Uh, I'll download it. Anyway, Halo Top Birthday Cake. Um, some of you have asked for the lighter ice creams. I did Briars. I think I did another brand. If not, anyway, uh, we'll jump into it. Halo Top is out of Los Angeles, California, founded by a guy named Justin Wolverton. Who's had Halo Top? Who likes Halo Top? I know some of you would ask for it. I believe Tabby Oberender, uh, Tabby and Joe Oberender. What's going on, guys? I believe she asked for it. If some of you also asked for it, um, put it down in the comments below. Let me know some other good light ice cream brands. As you know, light ice cream is not technically American standard ice cream. It has more air whipped into it and less fat. That's why they can call it ice cream. They have to put light in front of it. But it is essentially a frozen dairy treat. So I'm going to shut up because I'm rambling for the calorie conscious crowd. It is three servings of 100 calories each. So that is three. Can you do it? Zero, zero for the whole thing. And this is a pint. Four, seven, three milliliters. Okay, Matt, shut up. Anywho, as you can see, this is the birthday cake. Um... I'm going to go ahead and see if it's any good. It's not bad. Unfortunately, this got refrozen, so it's kind of taken away from some of the quality. You can kind of see some of the sprinkles in there. Okay, do it. Um, not bad. I mean, I would say right away what sticks out to me. It has like a whew, nice and warm in here. You're gonna get like an air conditioning that's really low. That's one of the reasons. Um, I sweat so much is because I have an air conditioning and a fan, but it's too loud. And if you go back to my first episode, it was on and it kind of throws everything off. So I'm just sitting here and sweat anyway. <laughs> I'll say what sticks out about this ice cream right away. It has like an underlying birthday cake taste, but it's not super sweet. Um, it's kind of lacking um, that traditional birthday cake taste, in my opinion. As you get a little bit further down, you can kind of taste it better. Can you do it? You know, see the sprinkles in there? I personally would like a little bit fattier. I realize it is a light ice cream for a reason. Um, but it's not bad, though. So, like I said, out of Los Angeles, California, a guy named Justin Wolverton started this company back in 2011. He liked ice cream. He wanted to eat less sugar and carbs in his diet. So, he came up with this. 2012, they launched out of Los Angeles, California. They are currently um, nationwide and worldwide. You can find them all over America. You can find them in places like Mexico and Australia, the UK, Germany, South Korea, Taiwan, etc. Um, Bahrain, um, place I've never been to, but I believe we have some fans out of Bahrain. How are you doing, everybody in Bahrain? Marhaba, baby. Um, <laughs> there's my little bit of Arabic that I learned in the Marine Corps. Ahlan wa sahlan saldigi. If you speak Arabic, I think you probably know what that means. If not, then... And if I pronounced that incorrectly, I apologize. But, uh, yeah, I would say... For a light ice cream, it's good. I, I do wish it was... Uh, like I said, a look. I wish it was a little sweeter... I realize the older I get, that's probably more of a southern thing. Because, like I said, we dump so much crap in our food that it just ends up being di diabetes in food form. But I like it. I like it. Diabetes in food form. Can you get diabetes outside of eating food? What, what, what exactly is diabetes? Where's, where's my medical people here? Put it down in the comments below. Let me know what diabetes is. Also, while you're there... Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and press that notification button so you can get our stuff as soon as it comes out. The subscription is free. It's free to watch us. Your subscriptions really help us. Tell your friends and tell your family. I can kind of feel a light ice cream headache brain freeze coming on. Uh, that's mainly, I believe, because there's not as much fat in this. And some of the higher quality brands, you don't get that as much. But with these, um, it actually uh, have to eat them a little slower. I have to remember that sometimes because... Uh, it can get a little intense. Mm. 
All right, so let's go ahead and rank it. Let's go ahead and rank it. Hmm. For a light ice cream, according to their website, it says it's light ice cream that tastes like real ice cream, uh, AKA Amer American standard ice cream. Uh, let, let, let's just be clear. This is a quality brand without question. The ingredients are quality. Um, I can tell they don't just put anything in there. Uh, it has enough fat to make it flavorful, but obviously not as much as I like. But for a light ice cream, because that's the scale we're rating it on, can't put it against other ice creams because it's kind of unfair. For a light ice cream, you're going to give it a solid B. <laughs> no, okay. I'm going to give it a solid B. Okay, I'm going to give it a B. I'm going to give it a B. I know I give them Bs. I know I give them all Bs, but I'm going to give it a low B. I'm going to tell you why. Quality of ice cream wise, it is a quality ice cream. This is my issue with it. It definitely has an underlying taste of birthday cake. There's no question about that. However, it's not nearly as pronounced as I would like. And I'm a big fan of birthday cake, which it wasn't until I moved to New York that I found out that was actually called sheet cake. I'd always heard it called birthday cake. Who else knew that? I didn't know that. Up here, at least in my experience, down south, nobody ever had real cakes, at least most of the parties I went to. Up here, I went to people's birthday parties. They had like really nice cakes. Like they were not the cheap Walmart birthday cakes I got when I was younger. And that's what I'm looking for when I eat birthday cake. So it does have kind of an underlying taste of that, but it's not quite as birthday cakey as I would like. And because of that, I'm going to have to give it I'm going to give it a 79. There you go, guys. I'm going to give it a C plus. A C plus because it's not as birthday cakey as I would like. Ingredient-wise, it's pretty good. It's definitely a quality brand. I wish it had more of a birthday cake flavor. So that's why I'm giving it a C plus. I would definitely eat it again. Definitely wouldn't go out of my way to get it. And I don't really know that I'd recommend it. And that's kind of the metric for a B. You know, the metric for an A is I would go out of my way to get it. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Wonderful. And swell. Uh, has to be and swell. <laughs> but the metric for a B is that it's good. I might go out of my way to get it. I would probably recommend it to somebody if they got to try it. The metric for C is I probably wouldn't go out of my way to get it. I would probably wouldn't recommend it to anybody because it's 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 okay, but it's, it's not the worst I've ever had, but it's just okay. A D is that like it's not the worst I've ever had, but I'm definitely not trying to eat it again. And an F obviously is a failure. So anywho, I'm gonna shut up and move on. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um put it down in the comments below. Go out and try this brand. Also, while you're there. What'd you think about the last ice cream? Almost forgot. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out the last ice cream. Try it, find it, put it in the comments below of that video. Let me know what you think about it. Like I said, go out there and try this 300 calories. If you like light ice cream, I think you will definitely like this ice cream. However, I do not think that that flavor is necessarily all that great. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you're on Instagram, check us out on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, check us out on Instagram. Check the links below. You will find my Instagram, my Patreon, and a few other things. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love eating ice cream with you guys. Um, come eat ice cream with me every week. Tell your friends, tell your family. Whew. Go out there. Try this out. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. All right, guys. See you next time.